What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time we have some more love bites. This one is The Awakening and The Hammer of Wrath. I don't know where this was performed. I know it's live. Uh, I found another video and it said it was 2020, but I, I'm not sure if it's the same performance or not. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Nice little growl or, or scream or whatever right there. I like it. That was nice. Don't get that very often by them. So that, I, as a Beatles fan, I, anytime the band will harmonize together, I love it. So 
it was nice to hear. Hopefully we hear it again from them. This is the first time I've heard it uh, from them. First of all, we got to address the solos. Uh, we're going to go back and re-listen to them, but there's there. I have a very, uh, I have a Joan Jett quote that I that I enjoy very much, and she said, uh, and I don't know if it was in an interview or something, but she said, when you play a guitar, you don't play it, you fuck it. And based off of the facial expressions during that first solo, one hundred percent accurate. Uh, so I, I fucking loved the guitar solos on this. I'm going to have to go with the first one over the second one, which is, I wasn't expecting because I, 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 I know I need to learn their names, but, uh, the one who plays Dean guitars, I normally, uh, I normally prefer her. So I, I, I prefer the first solo on this one, and I'm not upset about it. Let's fucking get into it.
Man. That one was truly an experience. Uh, when she she screamed twice, I wasn't expecting the second one. Like, I was expecting her just to extend it. I didn't expect her to step it up and extend it, you know? So that was that was awesome. That little bass groove that we got, that I love that bass line that she did as well. Um, the solos were immaculate. The vocals were really cool. So I, I imagine that the, the instrumental intro was the awakening, um, which they didn't come out. I mean, I don't know if the drummer was there playing, but, uh, they didn't, they didn't seem to come out until towards the end of it, which I'm not going to bitch about because they kicked ass so, so hard on the hammer of wrath. Um, that, that was immaculate. That that truly was immaculate. Um, these these girls they need they need uh, the attention that they're that they're getting. They deserve every every drop of the attention that they're getting, and more so. Uh, they are crazy talented. Uh, I I got to say this was this was probably one of the first ones where. Uh, other than maybe Judgment Day, which I believe was the first song released with uh, the new bassist, but uh, this is the first one where the bass was like, all right, this stepped up and showed that the bassist is more than just keeping rhythm. She does, she can, she could do really cool fills and stuff like that in there. And like, I, I don't, uh, we, we did get that one album with the new basses so far and she is incredible i can't wait for more from her but i need to listen to a lot more by the older bassist um and speaking of which knowing not knowing their names is unacceptable love bites band members asami i knew she was the lead singer miho was the bassist midori She's the one who I prefer. Uh, I prefer her guitar solo on this one. At least when they when they played together, we got that lick at the end. We got that lick at the end from Miyako, and she killed it. So uh, I'm I'm gonna I'll, I'll give it back to Miyako on that. I'll give it back to her on that. Uh, all around, all around, and then Harun is the drummer, which she always she's got a big ass smile on her face all the time she's always just fucking chill uh, she seems like she'd be a really chill person to meet and uh i just like the energy that each one of the band members brings uh so this one miho is the former uh the former bassist the new bassist is Fami, which we've, uh, I th it might have been Bravehearted, not uh, Judgment Day, I'm not sure, uh, now that I read that. She's only 20 years old. Okay. All right, so now, now we, we know the names. We won't be, well, this guitarist, that guitarist, the one who plays the Dean, the one on the Les Paul, the bass player, the singer, you know, we won't be doing that anymore. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I absolutely, absolutely loved uh, Miyako on Miyako on the guitar on this one. Uh, she al she almost lost it for me on this one, like as as the top of the two but she got it back with how they ended it uh let me know what you guys think about this one let me know what you guys want to see next big shout out to everybody checking us out over on patreon on tiktok on etsy on instagram on twitch all that good stuff we'll catch you with the next one i hope you have an amazing rest of your day peace